Welcome back to a Jumpman Nooner. What is the Jumpman Nooner video? Well, it's a video coming up at noon, uh, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, where we kind of just talk about any random topic, and it's mostly to get the comment section going here, uh, hear what you guys' thoughts, maybe some memories you have, maybe some debates and different things, and today we're going to talk about uh, at least series, maybe series one and two of Masters of the Universe, or the early years of Masters Universe, or when I got into it, and I love to hear your uh, your thoughts of when you got into Master Universe. Now, I've talked about this before. I was really into Star Wars, as you know. Star Wars is my thing. I've always been kind of a one-trick guy, you know. I had Nintendo, so I had to have all the Nintendos. I didn't play PlayStation or Xbox. Yes, I am. If I'm into something, I'm usually that's it. I was into Star Wars. That's all I cared about. Uh, I mean, I had some other toys here and there. I might have had one G.I. Joe, uh, I think I got for my birthday. I might have a Transformer. But mostly Star Wars. Now, I did have Indiana Jones, but Star Wars was my thing. That was it. Uh, it was probably the Christmas of 84. I want to say the Christmas of 84. Uh, I was 12, or let's see, yeah, I was 12. And I didn't want He Man. I knew all my friends, or some of my friends at school, was getting into He Man, started hearing a lot about it. It was really popular, but I was still in the Star Wars. But Santa Claus, aka Mom and Dad, spoiler alert. They got me He-Man toys, and the Christmas tree got there, opened it up, and it was all the He-Man from whatever series was out in 84. Maybe series, maybe one and two. Remember I got a bird, and I don't even remember asking for the He-Man stuff. So it's odd they got it for me, but I also remember my grandma got me the bird, so I had two of the birds, it was a little bird you fly around, I don't know what it was, I can't remember what it was from He-Man, so maybe I was asking for him, and I don't remember, because it's odd that my grandma would have got me something I didn't ask for, but it's also odd I would ask for that bird, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it, you know, memory gets foggy, but anyway, I got Castle Grey Skull. I got all the figures, fell in love with He-Man, I was already starting a little bit to watch the cartoon, this just forced me to watch the cartoon even more, I know that people said well, the cartoon was to force kids to buy toys, <laughs> not me, getting the toys forced me to watch the He-Man show, it really did, but ah, that Castle Grey Skull, when you open that Castle Grey Skull and you first see it, you think there's really not that much to it, you know, it's a, sh it's a plastic shell, it opens up, it's got the uh, bottom, not really there. It's got a little tr uh, trap door. I like trap door with the uh, orange chair. You turn the trap door opens. Has some stickers. You know, stickers are not really fun. Had, I remember it had like a little rack where you put your weapons. Had the uh, drawbridge door. I like that, the face on it. But it really didn't look that fun until you started playing with it. Uh, and I love that play set. Like I said, you open it up and you got the levels and you got the, oh, I remember it had like a little working elevator inside. Am I right? Love that. But I went from not liking He-Man, thinking oh, I don't care about that stuff, to just loving, loving this line. I mean, you had He-Man, I couldn't believe, anytime there was something on the television show, I had to have it. And I can still remember, is right after getting this line, I had everything that Christmas, except Battle Cat, Cringer, who I absolutely loved. Him and Orko was probably my favorite. I know Orko gets a lot of hate online, I don't know why. I love Orko, but I got Orko, I had Orko, but I wanted Battle Cat, and I can remember after school, oh, I told my grandma, I was like, hey, can you please, I know it's not my birthday or anything, can you please get me Cringer, please, I want, and she was like, what is Cringer, but I can remember she picked me up after school, I think I came home first, took the bus, got home first, she came and picked me up, went up to Rose's department stores of all places, because it was the closest one by the house. I can remember walking into that Roses. That Roses is still there today. That's one of the reasons I go in there sometimes. People say, why do you go to that Roses? They ain't got nothing in there. It's a crappy store. Well, it's one of the few stores that I can walk in and I can see in my head, hey, Star Wars was right here. He-Man was right here. You know, how many stores today in your town that you can walk in and you can still remember seeing stuff from the 80s in it there's not many of them out there and i got two roses in this town one i never really remember going to as a kid one by my house so it's probably about a mile or two away i can't remember where everything was in that store uh so i love going in there but i go in there see man's on the thing i see cringer it's in that box with a little window on it looking at that i could not believe it. i was like god it looks just like the cartoon I remember getting so excited taking it home ripping it open 
you know, putting the saddle on him, and the he man sitting the saddle on him. I remember getting, I remember playing with the playset, having Cringer go through the door and everything. I just really fell in love with this line, and I really wanted to see what you guys thought. And maybe if you were into He Man, what got you into He Man? What uh, was it? The cartoon made you buy the toys? Was it like me, where you got the toys and that made you get into the cartoon, or maybe you just was into the toys? Maybe you were just into the cartoons and none of the toys, or maybe you didn't even get into He Man. But let me know. I'd love to hear your memories of when you got into He-Man Masters Universe, if you ever did, or maybe you didn't, maybe tell me, you know, your friends did, but you didn't, tell me why you never got into it, anyway, this is the Jumpman Nooner, of course, we'll be back later tonight with a longer video, but Monday through Friday at noon, this shorter kind of discussion video I like to do, so hopefully you guys have fun with this, and we'll be back a little later, thanks. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>